Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing my book haul with you. Probably for the past couple of months, I've honestly just been buying nothing but used books. I've been going to the thrift store and thrifting and finding tons of books that I at some point plan to read, but I definitely want to share some with you. And I recently, I actually just got back from the thrift store maybe like 45 minutes ago and I decided you know what, I'm gonna sit down. I've accumulated quite a few. I thought I would just go ahead and share them with you guys. So the first book I'm gonna share with you is going to be Looking for Alaska by John Green. Um, it won the Honor, what is it, the Honors Book Award, American Library Association. So I have not read this book. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ever actually read a book by John Green, which is kind of funny. I know he's super popular, especially like with YA novels. I think he also did A Fault in, Fault in Our Stars, right? I haven't even seen the movie yet. I do own the book, which is in storage. I just have never read it. And I've been waiting to read the book before I watch the movie. I know the movie came out forever ago, but I still haven't read it. And I don't know too much about this book. My friend said that she liked it, but it wasn't like her favorite by John Green. But at some point I plan on reading this one. And then one of the books that I found recently made me very happy because I've never read this series. I've always wanted to read it. I know I've talked about it before. Um, I used to talk about it all the time with my coworker. He was obsessed with this series and he's like, if you love Harry Potter, you're gonna love this series. And I found the first book um, in Aragon by Christopher Pellini, Pellini, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Um, but yeah, I found the first book, which Aragon, I've heard nothing but wonderful things about this book. I think he was like 16 or 17 when he wrote it. And I've been really meaning to pick this one up for years. I do remember when the movie came out, I was actually working at the movie theater at the time and I didn't watch it because I was like, you know what? I wanna read the book first. And I just never did. So here I am, much older, and I'm finally gonna read it, and I'm probably gonna fall in love with it. So can't wait. And then another book that has just been on my list of books to read forever, like for years and years. I think this is actually my second copy. My other copy is in storage, but I grabbed it anyways because I'm hoping to read it at some point this year, and that is A Thousand Splendid Sun. Is this a new movie? I don't remember. Um, I know they made The Kite Runner into a movie, but I've always wanted to read this book. I know everyone loves it. It's so highly recommended. So at some point I'm hoping to pick this one up. And then a book that I actually found because I would have probably never picked this book up, but Noelle Gallagher here on YouTube talked really highly about this book last year. For I think she was like part of our reading wrap up and she talked really highly of it. And that is City of Thieves by David Benoff. And it is following these two people who are a guy who was hired to get eggs to bake his daughter a cake. And it's like very rare. You can, <laughs> very hard to find eggs and they're basically on a scavenger hunt looking for these eggs to bake a cake. So I don't know. She talked really highly about it. She said she's like, it was such a fun, fast paced story. And so I found it at the thrift store and I was like, you know what? This is a book that Noelle was talking about. I'm gonna grab it. And hopefully I enjoy it as much as she did. And another book that I picked up, which I don't necessarily know if I'm gonna enjoy it, but I actually really enjoy reading books about musicians and anything that has to do with like the 70s and 60s. And it's just, my, I've always found it so interesting. That's why I really loved Davy, Daisy Jones and the Six. And this one is called Love Him Madly. It's Murder at the Whiskey. And it's supposed to be a telling of I don't know, like there's a murder at the Whiskey Go-Go and I think it's supposed to be in 1968 and I don't necessarily know too much more about it, um, but just that that kind of caught my attention and so I figured, you know what, this might be a good book, I have no idea and it's obviously Love Him Madly, so we'll see what happens. And then my most recent finds were actually for today, which I was very excited about this because I've heard nothing but wonderful things about Neil Gaiman and that's the Graveyard book. Uh, Jody Vanilla Moon on here, she's talked really highly about his books. I've never read one of his books before, so I'm very excited to see how this one goes. Don't know anything about it. I just grabbed it honestly because I saw that it was Neil Gaiman and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna read it. Hopefully I enjoy it. 
And another one I found was the Bone Setter's Daughter by Amy Tan. So I'm hoping that this is a really good story. I have no idea what this book's about, but I just realized on the back it has the UK price. So they must have picked this up in the UK. So that's actually really cool. And oh, it's the same author as The Joy Luck Club. I knew her name sounded familiar. And The Joy Luck Club is one of my all-time favorite books. I remember reading it. I think I was a sophomore or junior in high school and we had to write a book report on it and my teacher it was like something we were doing like for a whole month and my teach I read it in like over the weekend like my teacher gave it to us assigned it and I literally read it over the weekend and he was like Lauren you were supposed to take the whole month to read it I'm glad that you're passionate about it so I actually read the book twice because I loved it so much I also really enjoy the movie it's like follows um Chinese immigrants immigrating from mothers immigrating from China and their stories and their struggles and why they came to the US and then adapting to the United States. And then it also talks about their children and how they are the firstborn in the US. So it's like holding on to their culture, but also becoming Americanized and them being parents. And it's just such a wonderful story. So I'm sure this one's gonna be just as good. And then another one, it just kind of caught my attention because of the, I saw the cover and I was like, this is probably like some sort of, I don't know, fantasy book, but it's called Thor and Jack, a night in nothing novel. I have no idea what it's about. It just says a spectacular modern retelling of the ancient Scottish ballad of Tamlin, a beguiling, beguiling fusion of love, fantasy, and myth that echoes the imaginative artistry of the world of Neil Gaiman, Cassandra Clare, and Cain Garcia. So... Yeah, I read that on the back and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna check it out. It's probably, hopefully it's good. I love Cassandra Clare, Neil Gaiman's on here. So hopefully I like it. And I'm almost done, you guys. I do have a few more. So I have not read any books by Donna Tartt, but I do have a secret history that I plan on reading. So I ended up just grabbing the gold, Goldfinch. I have no idea when I'm gonna read this book. It's not like top of my TBR, but I wanted to pick it up because I know it's, been you know talked highly about a lot of people really love her writing especially a secret history so i'm hoping i enjoy this one hopefully we'll see i might not like her writing but a lot of people do so and then another book i picked up which is and i also have the tags on them still i have not taken them off which was tony morrison morrison's the bluest eyes i've been really meaning to read this book for quite a while and I bought it maybe like a month and a half ago. And this is the older um, cover. I know the cover has changed and this one was from 1994. So this is the 94 edition and I just thought the cover was perfect. And so I know I'm gonna cry when I read this book. I've heard nothing but wonderful things and it's very emotional. And I know that Toni Morrison writes very lyrically, so I'm super excited. Well, not really. I feel like I need to be in a good headspace before I read this book, because I'm sure it's gonna be hard to read, so. And another book I picked up, which I'm actually very excited, it is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I've been meaning to read this book forever, and I found it at the thrift store, and I was actually so excited. It was kind of funny, because I like was looking at books and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, they have Frankenstein. And it was, there was an older man behind me, like looking at books. He's like, I love how enthusiastic you are about reading a book. And he goes, it's a fantastic book. So I actually picked it up. So I'm so happy that I was able to pick it up and hopefully I can read it at some point. I actually just recently bought the Barnes and Noble edition because I've been looking for it every time I go to my Barnes and Noble and they finally had it and it was only 10 bucks so I bought it and it's so beautiful. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I'm gonna read this version or this version, so we'll, I'll decide, I don't know. Anyways, very excited and happy that I got that. And then another book that I picked up, I actually picked this up for my son, thinking maybe he'll want to read it at some point, and that is The Maze Runner. I actually read this book before the movie even came out, before I even think it was like, I don't even think they were talk in the talk, like talking about it at the time. Um, so I don't know. I picked it up, I figured why not, and I might even take a stab at it again. I remember reading this one and I purchased the second book. I don't remember reading the second one, and then I didn't even get to finish the whole uh, movie series as well. So I don't know, 
Maybe I'll read it, maybe I won't, maybe I'll save it for my son, but I thought he would like that one. And then another book I picked up was Pure by Juliana Baggett. This is supposed to be like an apocalypse themed story and it's about a dome that covers like I think it's like the rich people are living under this dome and they're living healthy and then everyone outside of the dome is basically dying from whatever disease that is happening it has taken over the world um yeah but that's like what I got from the story from reading the synopsis and then there's like the dome and there's the butterfly and then this is what it looks like with everyone outside of the dome so we'll see what happens it sounded really interesting and then a, another one I picked up, which is actually a podcast that I actually wanted to listen to and I just never got around to it. And then I thought it was really funny that it popped up at the bookstore. So I figured why not pick up the book, which is Welcome to the Night Vale. So I don't really know too much about it. I know it has to do with like a creepy town, if I remember correctly, but I decided just to grab the book. And if I like it, then maybe I'll listen to the story on podcast. So we'll see. So another book that I picked up is one that is near and dear to my heart. I have watched the movie. I loved it so much and it is called Like Water for Chocolate. This has to do with Mexican culture, which I absolutely love. And I have never read the book. I didn't even know it was based off of a book, the movie. So I'm really excited. This is something that my mom and I have watched millions and millions of times and it's just such a great story and yeah I definitely I highly recommend it I don't know what the is books as good as the movie obviously I'm sure the book's way better but yeah this is a movie that we've watched millions of times and I'm hoping that I enjoy this book as well so and then I just have two more books and one of them the last second to last one is nothing to see here by Kevin Wilson I don't know anything about this book, to be honest. I've just seen it everywhere. So I figured I would just pick it up and see if I like it. And hopefully you do. I know a lot of people, it's pretty highly recommended and it has pretty high rating on um, Goodreads. So, and then the last book I have to share with you guys is going to be Jane Igoro. I might be mispronouncing her name, Ties at Tether. So this book recently just came out and I was actually planning on picking it up. And then I saw it at the thrift store and it was like pretty much brand new. Like this person did not read this book. I mean, if they did, like they took very good care of it. So I'm very excited. The cover is spectacular. I think actually this is like summertime reads. I think this is the perfect thing to read during the summer. And I'm very excited. Um, to pick those books up so that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more i'm trying to get better at filming more often i think i say it all the time but i filmed on a friday and today's on saturday so i was inspired to continue and i definitely wanted to share all of my used books that i've picked up and you know just go ahead and share those with you guys so i will talk to you guys again soon and yeah see you guys later Bye.